All right, I'm backstage here at the Galen Center at the Xbox Media Briefing Rehearsals with Don Matrick. Don, good to see you again. Great to see you, Jeff. Uh, so this is a big week for you guys, uh, coming only three weeks after the Xbox reveal. Um, 19 days. Yes. Who's I counting? Know. Well, it was, uh, you know, it was a long 19 days for a lot of gamers having to wait for some game announcements. So tell me, I mean, coming out of that reveal, how did you feel about it? Because I know obviously a lot of gamers have been all over social sure. media yeah, complaining. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what was what was your takeaway from that? What did you learn from that? Well, look, it, w we knew that we had to share two things. The vision for the box that we're creating, yep. some of the features and functionality, and what it means to design something for the next decade. So people are looking at it. They're trying to imagine what it will experience, uh, it'll provide, and they haven't had a chance to use it yet. So yep. the first thing I'd say to people is, look, um, we designed something that's great. Yep. It is, at its core, a games box, and we've innovated for what we think are the appropriate scenarios moving forward. Yep. So that's one idea. Second idea is, we're here at E3, yep. and this show is all about games. So I think people are going to see, um, you know, mind-blowing, great experiences. You said 20 games on stage. Well, it, um, there's about, uh, yeah, 20. Okay. Give or take a few. Take you might few. add another one yeah. in at the last yeah. minute. You never yeah. know, right? So uh, it's a great line for games. Yeah, and I think people are going to love it, and then they're going to understand what we're trying to create and how mm -hmm. it links games and entertainment, mm -hmm. the functionality of the box, some of the advantages that you get of having a box that is designed right. to use uh, an online state. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, to me, is a future-proof choice, right. and I think people could have arguably gone the other way if we didn't do it, and fortunately we have a product for people who aren't able to get some form of connectivity. It's called Xbox 360. Right. So stick with 360, that's your message if you don't, well, if you don't like it? If, if you have zero access yeah. to the internet, that is an offline <laughs> device. I yeah. mean, seriously, when I yeah. read the blogs and thought about who's really the most impacted, there was a person who said, hey, I'm on a nuclear sub, right. and I don't even know what it means to be on a nuclear sub, but I've got to right. imagine that it's not easy to get an internet connection. Probably not playing Call of Duty multiplayer well, on it's, the sub. It's, yeah, but I mean, hey, I, right. I can't empathize where right. if I was on a sub, I'd be disappointed. So, you know, I think a lot of gamers, when you talk to them about it, they just say, like, I don't understand what's wrong with the way things are now. But you're saying, obviously, that there's a bigger vision longer term. That sure. You're making a bet, I assume, similar to when you guys said, hey, with, uh, you know, Xbox, you weren't going to support dial-up. You're going to do broadband. I mean, that's, and, you know, it's hard for people because I guess we don't know what your vision is five, seven years from now. Yeah, and it's a service-based world. If you think yeah. about things and how they get better with an Internet connection, that's a design choice that we've made. Yeah. Uh, so I, I think people will appreciate it. Uh, it's something that when people experience it, it's easier than having uh, people like me describe oh, it. Right. it. It really is powerful. And uh, we did a lot of testing, a lot of consumer research, and I think we made a good choice. Did you know or did you anticipate that people were going to push back the way they did? Online? Absolutely. Oh, I mean, yeah. it's a super passionate community of people. Yeah. Um, they're um, loving what we do. It's very important to them, and they're opinionated, and they're smart. Right. So they look at all those things, and they say, hey, um, is this going to impact me in a negative way? And until you use it, it's really hard to understand yeah. what all the advantages are. All right, so you're going to win them over is what you're saying, right? Well, well even off. outside of win them over, Xbox has been created by gamers for gamers. Right. So I find it kind of ironic when people uh, take a step back and think, look, this is a, a company that hasn't thought about at its core what it means to have great games experiences. Yep. So we're going to deliver that, and we're going to continue to innovate on the platform, on the capabilities of what Xbox One can do. Yeah. And I think uh, in the long run, we'll build a global leading product right. that uh, people are going to love and embrace. So you got a lot of games on stage here, and I think you know one of the things gamers wanted to see was were more games. Um, now that people have, have seen them, seen your vision, what excites you about where games are going in this next generation? The increased uh, graphics fidelity okay. is awesome. The connection to the cloud and what it can mean from a game creation, a game design, how experiences can evolve is right. super exciting. And as I think about it, when game designers were building products a decade ago, they would think that the majority of their focus was on a single player experience. Right. Then they started thinking about competition inside of the living room, and then they started thinking about what competition could be with an online community. Mm -hmm. So what we know right now is the majority of people spend a lot of time with multiplayer games. Yep. Uh, that uh, you want to have experiences that aren't designed exclusively 
as a programmer driving a logic sequence. You want things that really use real-world inputs. Yeah. Other players, uh, the complexity of servers where there's tons of data, and it's changing your experience. Yeah. And I think that's what people are going to come away with, is these worlds are rich, they're alive, there's a ton of graphical fidelity, and I think creators are going to have the best toolbox that they've ever had to innovate. So there's no choices about uh, is connect in or out. Right. Connect is in. You're going to be able to use that for voice commands, for gesture, in conjunction with the controller, right. in conjunction with smart glass. Mm -hmm. That's huge as a creator. So what do you think you have left to prove now with Xbox One? You guys have gone through the reveal, you've shown the games. What, what do you still think you need yeah, to do? Yeah, look, what we have to, first off, people have to understand we're committed to excellence. Right. So we're going to continue to invest in the platform. We're going to have thousands of people innovating. I look at this launch window as we get our feet in the running blocks, and over the next decade we get to build a great global business. Right. It'll be games and entertainment. We've got the best lineup of first-party games that we've ever had, the best lineup of third-party games. People are going to see that content over the next few days, and I think they're going to connect with it. I know that I uh, have a few titles that have popped that we'll be showing at the show the and first, Black the Tusk, first I hear Black might be Tusk, there. yeah. There's, there's an amazing uh, internal team that's coming together doing some innovative stuff. So, um, in particular, um, you know, the start of the show and the end of the show, those those titles are just amazing. Huge stuff. And they're coming, yeah. coming to your platform. Coming to our platform. All right, well, Don, it's uh, great to hear uh, from you here. I think hopefully gamers are a little, little calmer once they've seen some of the games. But, you yeah. know, as you said, I think the things with, you know, 24 hours they, always on, all the stuff, they, it's like they're going to not... We, we, hard to we appreciate the passion. Right. I mean, look, let's just acknowledge it. It's, it's important that people share their ideas. I think people are imagining outcomes that are worse than what we believe it's going to be in the real world. Right. So uh, we designed... Uh, the box, we paid attention to what it means to connect to the internet. The average internet connection is working the majority of the day. And yep. people are imagining that it isn't, and I don't think that that's They're just worried, that I think. Sure, right? I mean, it's yeah. change, yeah. right? And th there was a point in time when people would say, hey, all I want my phone to do is make a phone call. Right. And now you use your phone in richer ways because of that connectivity. People are going to see the same benefits with Xbox One as they've seen with their smartphone. All right, well, we will uh, see it all, I guess, later this year when Xbox One launches, and uh, we'll be all online. Yeah, and thank you, Jeff. We really oh. appreciate your coverage and involvement. Thank you, Don. It's great. Look That's forward great. to playing soon.